Egyptian mummies on the move. The Golden Parade, a multi-million dollar procession through the streets of Cairo. For Egypt's ancient rulers, 3,000 years after their burial. A guard of honor and a gun salute. 22 ancient mummies taken on a historic journey. The four queens and 18 kings, including Ramses the Great, one of Egypt's legendary pharaohs who ruled for more than 60 years. The parade is very important, not only for Egypt, but for the whole world. The mummies emerging from their cramped accommodation at Egypt's historic museum. We visited the museum in 2017. More than 100,000 artifacts were kept there. Not always safely. During Egypt's revolution in 2011, it was broken into and 50 objects were stolen. The mummy's new home, the state-of-the-art National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, will be safer and far more modern. The three-mile parade, less than an hour long, made for TV and aimed at attracting tourists to Egypt again, with many local people from poor districts of Cairo prevented from attending. For the mummies themselves, a sophisticated process. The ancient bodies x-rayed and sealed in nitrogen, then kept in bespoke capsules and moved in special vehicles to keep them safe. Egypt has been making news lately, struggling with COVID infections, the blockage of the Suez Canal and a deadly train crash. On social media, some even suggesting the parade was cursed. Everyone said this is the curse of the mummies. But I said... There is no curse of the mummies. Egypt's ancient past, an ever-present influence on its future. And this weekend, the source of a truly stunning spectacle. I mean, Kira, spectacle uh, to be sure, but one would assume that they could have transported yeah. those mummies without the fanfare, the pomp and the circumstance. How much of this was, was about attracting tourism back to Egypt right now? Oh, yeah, a huge amount, Craig. Like so many countries, Egypt's tourism industry, a fifth of its economy, a $12 billion industry uh, has just disappeared. They're hoping that you'll see these images at home and say to each other, why don't we go to Egypt uh, when we have a chance? Inevitably, though, Craig, there are those on social media saying in a packed 2021, and I think these folks are joking, uh, why would you unleash cursed mummies onto the streets. It's a pretty good question, guys. It's a, a legitimate concern, uh, Kirsten, is for us there. Always a naysayer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, was, like, I was going to say, cute, cool. why don't we go to Egypt? We're Let's going. Let's the go show. to Today Egypt. Goes to Egypt. <laughs> it looks pretty cool to me. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.